Hi friends, how are you? I'm here today because we haven't done an Isis beautiful oracle reading with the Tarot of Transition. So, um, this last couple of weeks have been kind of new moon and the grand sextile and just a lot of things kind of interceded uh, energy wise. But I'm here today to do a reading with our Isis, okay? So, um, I'm already grounded the table and I'll just going to um, pick some cards and we'll end with one card from the lady herself, okay? And uh, let's see what she has in store for us this week, okay? So everybody get comfortable and do some deep breathing and uh, let's see what the cards have to say for us today. Okay, deep breathe, inhale, and exhale. All righty. Deep breathe, inhale, exhale slowly. Eight cards with the Tarot of Transition on the table. Okay. Eight for August 8th. I like it. And then we'll take one for the Lady Isis here. Eight, eight. You know, I love those numbers, my friends. Powerful. Alrighty, let us see what's in store with us today. Okay, Hathor, the lovers have come through. Beautiful, wonderful, Hathor. Yes, she is uh, beautiful. I don't think this card has come through yet. So, and really... You know, it's, there's love in the air, my friends. No doubt about it. We've been getting that. And look at this one. We've got the Queen of Wands here, the Queen of Staffs. Half this, without, oops, excuse me, hold on, let me see. H-A-T-S-H-E-P-S-U-T. Hatshepsut. Hatshepsut, I think that's it. Beautiful. Okay, and we know the wands. She's got fire and action behind her. So we'll read, we'll um, select all the cards and we'll take it from there. Oh, we do have the King of Swords coming through. Ramses II himself, Pharaoh of the Ankh. Boy, we know he's got some power behind him here. Wonderful. Ramses is the second. Okay, so we've got, we've got the, Queen of the Lovers card here. We've got uh, the Goddess of the Lovers here, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Swords. Oh, and we have a Yushakti here. Very cool. Wonderful. We love those. Page of Wands here again. Got another Wands card coming through. <gasps> and a 10. We've got the sun card, and how wonderful, considering how we've had this, um, you know, the new moon and Leo and all these sun impressions all around. So here we have with our tarot of transition, the Egyptian pantheon is coming to 
beautiful. And this is Akhenaten and Nefertiti. Nefertiti and Akhenaten here, hailing the godson. Very beautiful. We like that one. Okay, well, I don't think we've had this one come through either. Strength card. Tau. P-T-A-H. I'm not familiar if we've had this one come through. I don't recognize the younger child. So, very interesting. Okay, and the strength card here, they did put it as a number 11 card, which kind of flips with the justice card in the traditional tarot. Okay, and here we go. Nefertiti herself. Queen of coins. Queen of the Caprera. So, isn't that cool? We've got, and here we have the lovers. I'm just kind of, it's just because Nefertiti and Akhenaten, they, they adored each other. Whoa, so definitely we have some, we have some love on the table. Woo, and look at this, is one of my favorite here. The goddess Nut, the star herself. Oh my goodness. How beautiful, and we know that's all about inspiration and insight and intuition and hope, 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 hope. So here we go. If you've been looking for love, I don't know. Let's see what Lady Isis has to say, but don't, don't put that fear. Do not be fearful like Lady Isis says. And the high priestess herself has come through. Mysteries revealed in the eyes of Isis. Wow, how wonderful. This is beautiful, beautiful, my friends. She, as the high priestess, is coming through. I don't think we've had this card yet. Oh, how wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, we're going to open up first with her words, and then we will... Um, Okay, let's see. Very good. Okay, I can tell that I, I pulled this personally myself on June 12th to 13th. And for some reason, I wrote in here a bunch of sixes. Six, 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 six plus one. I'm going to have to figure out why I did that. But okay, High Priestess, mysteries revealed in the eyes of Isis. Beloved Isis gazes upon you now in be and behind her vast eyes. Mysteries are unveiled. A new clarity around your direction is unfolding. Be willing to wait for the full reveal, but also recognize what is happening at this time. You will be gaining valuable insight into where you are being led and for what purpose. It is an exciting moment in your unfoldment. Have reverence and an open heart and mind and wait patiently for the grand revelation that is on its way. Oh my dear, how positive is that? Beautiful. And that looks like um, King Tut's face there. Okay, well let's let's go with the Tarot of Transition and let us see what the Lover's card has to say here. Well, Lady Isis, I think it's confirming love is on the way. No doubt about it. All righty. And here we have Goddess Hathor, the lovers. Among the divinities invoked by the high priest to come to your support, the first is Hathor, who is the daughter of the supreme god Ra. She is a benevolent and affectionate protectress who will sustain you during your test. The Hathor card is favorable. It signifies a feminine being a wealth of sentiment and kindness, a feminine partner who will aid you, a faithful friend and companion. The disappearance of this woman could have dramatic consequences for you. Okay, well we wanna keep we wanna keep the beautiful Hathor near our hearts. Okay, favorable card. Stay with us. God is Hathor. Okay. And then we have the Queen of Wands of Stabs. Let's see what she has to say from, from here. Okay. Wow, we've got the female energy going on. All right, let's see. Okay. Let's see, I don't think um, the 
आठ Queen of Staffs, yes. Hmm. Okay, my friends, hold on a second here. Oh, here we go. I, I apologize. I was, I was looking for Queen of Staffs. No, it's the Queen of Day, but I mean, she's known as the One Queen here. All the material things you seek will come to you. you. Your desire for earthly goods and your hunger for honor will be very great. Oh, what a beautiful positive card. I know we have not received this one. Hatshepsut. And we'll have to follow up and read more of Hatshepsut. Queen of the dead, all the material things you seek will come to you. Your desire for earthly goods and your hunger for honor will be very great. Okay. And I know that this card has come through prior, too. So let's see what the Pharaoh Ramses has to say. Woohoo! Pharaoh of the Ankh. Okay. And the Pharaoh of the Ankh. Your efforts should not be aimed at transient things. Fix your gaze on high ideals. They will last. Okay, well, there you go. You know, whatever you're dreaming for, make that your intent. Make that your, your manifestation for your purpose, okay? For your purpose. Because here, um, Ramses II is saying, your efforts should not be aimed at transient things. Fix your gaze on high ideals. They will last. They will be concrete. Mm -hmm. I like it. Okay, and the Yushakti of the Dig-Ezed, I'm not sure, I've got to learn how to pronounce that, but here is the wand symbol here again. When you call upon me to put my power at your service, I, I shall do it for you. Well, that sounds nice, right? Our little personal Yushakti there, just ask and it will, it will provide. I think this one's female, yes. Nice. When you call upon me to put my power at your service, I shall do it for you. And here we have the sun card. I just feel so good with all these energies we've been having, my friends, that the sun, uh, the sun Atin has come through. Atin is the third guard of the stellar trinity and also the supreme god. The dead person who has been found just by his judges may return to the light to accompany Atin or Ra on his daily course. Atin has a very great power of attraction because he signifies self-realization. The Atin card is favorable. It signifies gold, prospects of success or of a happy ending, striving for high ideals, mastery, accomplishment, victory of life over death, in desiring all that is best and greatest you have good chances of attaining your goals. Glory us. Get outside, walk on that earth, and pray up to the sun. There we, this is confirmation that these energies with the fire sun are coming to bring us a new light. Ooh, I'm going too fast. I was picking up the new card there. I, I, that's my, one of my favorite cards. Okay, and we need to have that strength. Because they're saying the love is here, that what we want is coming for us, but it has to have integrity and value. It has to be something that, you you know, we can all be, uh, you know, from our core, from our core. I, I was going to say the word proud, but I, I don't want to use that word. It's just to believe in your core, okay? Don't give up. That's what we're going to do. We don't give up. We just keep moving forward, people. We keep moving forward because what's meant to be, as part of your core life being, will be attained. Here we go, hold on. Oops. Strength. Ta. Upon death, a mortal's mouth is closed by those who enter him or her. Enter, they spell it I-N-T-E-R. I'm not sure. Okay, upon death, a mortal's mouth is closed by those who enter him or her. To be heard before the tribunal of the gods, the mortal's mouth must first be reopened. Ta, 
the opener, quotes, the opener in capital letters is invoked to open the mouth with the aid of a celestial tool. The ta card is favorable. It signifies emotional life, the masculine principle, strength, reliability, a companion who stands beside you, unconditional support. The disappearance of this supportive figure could have extremely disagreeable consequences. Okay, people, well, again, we just keep saying, please stay with us. All right. Very good. Well, a companion who stands, and here we have the lover, so perhaps this unconditional support can mean like, you know, that, that twin flame, that, that, that love that we seek, you know, to grow into dimension with. Beautiful. All righty. Boy, this one seems like a nice reading today. Good, because, you know, it's, it's about that word love, my friend. It all revolves around love. Okay, and we have the queen of coins, the Caprera. Okay, and this has to be Nefertiti herself. Nefertiti. Okay, and your enterprises may bring disappointment. You may have losses. Fate may turn against you. Next time, your chances will certainly do better. Okay, well, the queen is speaking here. She's saying, just stay on track here, okay? You may have losses. Fate may turn against you. Next time, your chances will certainly do better. And that's what I think what this reading is about. Okay, if we've had those, you know, issues in the past, which we all have our cycles of highs and lows, but this is what I think it's trying to say. Your chances will certainly do better next time in the respect because we're going to come from core values. Okay, it's just not going to be, you know, quick fix to make money or something like that, you know, something shady. It has to be valuable of alignment with the heavens, okay? That's what I'm getting out of that. All right. And then the star card herself. I love this image. I just love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay. And here we are. That is Newt, the star. Another force now arrives to join the judges. It is Newt, the starry goddess. Every evening she swallows the sun, and every morning she spits it out again. Newt permits you to be reborn if she favors you. There we go. This is what the Queen Nefertiti, I think, you know, whatever has happened in the past, release it in the respect, and we, you know, become reborn. Move forward with what truly is of your core. We're all here for a reason, no doubt about it. Newt permits you to be reborn if she favors you. The new card is favorable. It signifies rebirth, destabilization, renewal. A difficult phase of life is over, an initiative that is not devoid of risk. It is possible that you may stumble in your efforts, but you cannot remain as you are. You must continue trying, and you cannot retreat. There we go. Like that Japanese proverb. You know, fall down seven, get up eight. And isn't it nice that eight is today, August 8, 8, 8. And that's what we're going to say. That's the bottom line. We fall down seven, we get up eight. Fabulousness. Okay, and here we have the high priestess herself. And we'll do read the ritual and the incantation. And we'll see what she has to say. You will need one white candle, the ritual of the high priestess. You will need one white candle, a tea light is fine, and matches. If you can find a pashmina scarf or shawl that you can use for this ritual, preferably in white or a color that you love, you may use it to lightly cover your head as a sacred robe and say, I honor the priestess within and the high priestess Isis that loves me unconditionally with this veil upon my head. I part the veil between the worlds and enter into the domain of her mystery. Light a single white candle and say, within white all colors are contained. In this candle all mysteries can be revealed. 
I ask to see that which has been concealed, which will serve me in unconditional love, gifted from Isis, grace as pure as the dove. Gaze at the candle if you are aware of the area that needs more clarity in your life. Imagine or intend that you can project it into the flame of the candle. Allow the energy of it to be purified and refined. If you don't know exactly what part of your life needs to be revealed, then simply gaze at the flame with an open mind. When you can close your eyes and still keep your focus on the flame, do so for a few moments. Then say, in dream, in thought direct, in awareness and in bodily sense, I now receive the mystery unveiled. I am not denied any detail. I receive this now with comprehension, comprehension clear from priestess Isis who holds me dear. Allow your mind to be empty. If you have a thought or impression, take note of it, but don't analyze or fight it. Just trust the reveal will happen at its best for you. Whether it comes clearly during your ritual as a knowing, vision, gut instinct or feeling, or whether you receive a dream or an insight in the days or weeks following your ritual. When you are ready, just open your eyes. And here we say, things are, things are moving, people. Things are coming, coming our way. Unconditional love would be a lovely come our way. And the incantation. You can say this incantation, an excerpt from your ritual, at any time you wish to open to learning more of the mystery unfolding in your life. And that's what we're doing. We're walking forward to have that life where we can feel this is the best time of our life. The best is yet to come. 2013, the best is yet to come. And the incantation, in dream, in thought direct, in awareness, and in bodily sense, I now receive the mystery unveiled. I am not denied any detail. I receive this now with comprehension, comprehension clear from priestess Isis, who holds me dear. But uh, yes, thank you, Priestess Isis. You are our goddess, no doubt. We love thee. Mm, beautiful. Okay, well, I think um, that love is in the air, and I'm just going to finish here with one of my little 11 cards. But um, definitely, I like it. I like it. <laughs> okay, and we will close. And I don't, I don't want to look at these cards because some of the images I know what it is. So, but okay, my friends, just keep on trucking, keep on trucking, keep moving forward to that life purpose, working from our heart. Remember, this Leo um, sun is all about coming from the heart. Uh, Leo rules the heart and and circulation and the spine and things like that, but. The heart, the corazón, that's what we want. Because the lovers are here, and we know that the lovers are all about working with our hearts, coming heart to heart, and unconditional love on top. How beautiful. It's, oh, boy, this is called black hole. Black hole, I am in a void space, a black hole, yet I feel light. It is me. I have been brought here to be shown that my essence remains light no matter what. And that's the proper word right there. Essence, okay? We work with our essence. And here I have La 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 coming from the black hole. And that's uh, my mermaid guide. She, she comes from the black hole. And we have more stuff to talk about her. But here I am. I am in a void space, a black hole, yet I feel light. It is me. I have been brought here to be shown that my essence remains light. No matter what, no matter what. And I think that's the word that brings it all together. The essence of our core, okay? Essence of our core. The essence of our core. I think that's the way we have to look at things now. Our core, our essence, and then we will align 
with what is the universe divinely wants us to share, to bring and prosper positivity and, you know, have, have that union where it's beautiful. And, and it, I don't know, I didn't expect this to come out this way, really. So I, I think it's beautiful for all of us. You know, love yourself, people first, and then that union ship. Love your core, your essence. Nobody will be able to deny you, okay? And then the universe will align if, you know, that mate. And even if you have your beautiful twin flame now, adore. Whether you have high or low, just know that, that union was meant to be from divine source, okay? All righty. We'll talk to you next time. Have a great day. Ciao.